Hello, shalom everybody. This is Bishop Josia the Patriarch. Uh, I am here in Bangkok in a hotel called um, Aun Chalena Bangkok Hotel. It's a nice five star hotel that our sponsors uh, put us in for two nights. In conjunction with the engagement that I solemnized last night, it's a wonderful couple, a lawyer, and uh, our daughter in the Lord. And I will be still be here until tomorrow, July the third. Happy New Month for everybody! I declare and decree prosperous power strength by the Holy Ghost and um, I just want to share with you some inspirational words that the Holy Spirit has put in my heart this morning we need to pray for one another especially you need to pray for your leaders you need to pray for your spiritual father, you need to pray for your apostles, your prophets, your evangelists, your pastors, especially those who have been in the front line of preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Uh, let me just go around this front hotel area very nice as I speak to you. We need to pray for one another. James the Elder wrote in the letter of James to pray for one another. And even Paul said in his letter in Thessalonians chapter There are times when the Holy Spirit will take up your own spirit and show you exactly what is going to happen or what is, is the present situation so that you can execute the power of your faith and the Holy Ghost to give a decree to announce a decree to change the situation. Remember Jesus said, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, 
you can command, speak to this mountain, be uprooted and be cast into the sea, and it will obey. You shall have whatever you say. The power of faith in us as we stand in the ground promise of the word of God. You declare it in the name of Jesus Christ. Something's going to happen in the realm of the spirit. The negative situation will turn into positive if you speak positively in the realm of the spirit. The enemy, the devil of his angel are bringing their plan and purpose on earth and in the life of many. But when you speak to the situation and change it, just like Jesus saw the storm and he commanded the storm to stop, peace means he changed the situation. He changed the current movement. We can also do that in the name of Jesus. We change the darkness by saying, let there be light in the name of Jesus. And the Lord will do it for us. Because Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, whoever call upon the name of the Lord, he said, I will do it. So he said, Lord Jesus. Or you pray to the Father and said, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, with your promise and with your word, let there be healings. I declare prosperity. Every work of the enemy, now in the name of Jesus Christ, be crushed and be destroyed. You speak with faith, like you're speaking to that mountain. Be moved, Jesus said. Speak it. Be moved and be removed to the sea, and it will obey. You have to say it in the realm of the Spirit. And you can only do it in the realm of the Spirit when you are praying and worshiping God, authorized by the Word of God. So pray for one another that you may be healed. That's James said. Paul said, pray for us that the gospel will be proclaimed. You know, there's a battle between the negativity of the enemy and there is a battle that we should declare positive things. The word of God upon ourselves, upon our people, upon the saints, upon our leaders, and upon our nation. And it will bring impact. God began to move because God promised that if my people humble themselves and pray and see, He will answer. He will come and answer you by doing exactly what you have prayed for or what He wants to do in according to His will. God is a God of action. God will come to answer your prayer and your prophetic faith declaration. Every day you need to declare it. I'm declaring myself I'm a child of God because the Bible says you are a child of God. I declare myself I have the Holy Spirit because the Bible says you shall receive the Holy Spirit, Jesus said. I declare myself, I have the power of the Holy Spirit of God in me and operating through me. Because Jesus said in Acts chapter 1 verse 8, you shall receive power and you will receive it. And I declare richness, success in my life in the name of Jesus. Because Jesus said, you say, speak to the mountain, be removed. I declare sickness go. I declare every sickness in my family and body right now go out from my life in the name of Jesus. And I believe it because Jesus said, 
If you have a faith like a mustard seed, you say to the mountain, be removed. Say to the situation, in the name of Jesus, poverty be removed out of my life. Say like this, in the name of Jesus, sickness removed out of my life, in the name of Jesus. You can even say to the sick person, to the people who is sick, you cripple, walk, stand up and walk in the name of Jesus. It's like you're saying to that mountain, Jesus said, say to the mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea. Devil, in the name of Jesus, I declare defeat in your life. Move out of my life in the name of Jesus. You can say it. And it will happen because you are standing upon the decree of the Bible, decree of Christ. That whatever you ask in my name, Jesus said, whatever you ask in my name, I will do it. In Mark chapter 16, Jesus said that in my name, they will cast out devils. They will lay hand on the sick and they shall recover. I mean, in the name, you are using the authority and power that Jesus have and release it based from his promise. It is the Lord who is going to do it. In the name of Jesus, declare. Make that announcement. Make that declaration. Command the mountain of impossibilities in your life. That is an active faith. If you believe, it will happen. You shall have whatever you say. Jesus said in Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Whatever I say, I will have it. So don't say negative. You will receive it. Say positive. I'm a child of God. I am the head, not the tail. I will be successful. I will be prosperous. Because Psalm chapter 1 say, Whatever he do it shall prosper. I will be like the tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth my fruit in my seasons. I'm quoting Psalm chapter 1 because I'm meditating upon the Word of God. I declare my fruits will come in my season in the name of Jesus. Whatever I do, I prosper in the name of Jesus because I stand on the promise of His Word. You know, if you don't have the Word of God as your, your, your stand, nothing will happen. <laughs> but if you say it based on the Word of God, I will lay hand on you now and you will recover because Jesus said they shall lay hand on the sick and they shall recover. You see? So I do an, an act of faith based from the promise of Christ and the Word of God. So if you are sick now, as I stretch my hand in the name of Jesus, be healed. You can touch. There is no distance in prayer. Touch my hand and I release the power of God healings of God to happen into your life. You shall reap whatever you sow. If you sow blessing into my life or to somebody, you will have a blessing. If you sow love, you will have a love. Last night, I taught the couple who I blessed the engagement, I said, Romans chapter 5 verse 5 said, the love of God poured out in our heart by the Holy Spirit. That fruit, if you sow love, you will reap the love. So never sow hatred, bad. One day it will come back to you, you will reap it. You know, by this, the world know that you are my disciple, Jesus said, if you love one another. That is the greatest attribute of a child of God. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and love your neighbor as you love yourself. This agape love is the one that without condition. Oh, Father God, give me that. Holy Spirit, pour out your love 
pray like this. And the Holy Spirit began to put that love in you. That you're able even to forgive your enemy. And that judgment belongs to God. Beloved, love is the greatest thing. Unconditional love. Even though you are an enemy or you are evil man, God the Father still loves even the enemy and give opportunity for them to repent from their life. God don't want human being to, dis to be destroyed. He give out an opportunity to everyone to repent, to repent from your wrong thinking, from your wrong attitude, from your wrong word, and turn to the things of God. That is repentance. And Jesus Christ can, can do that change and transformation by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. When you become a person who loves, because that's the character of God the Father, that is a true disciple of Christ. Let us love one another. Love covers many sins. I've seen many people with their sin, but I try to protect them by not saying anything and cover them. Not because they are right, but because my love for them, I try to protect them. I tell them that, look, everybody sin, but God has forgiven you by His grace. If you have repented from it, then that's all about it. But there are many pastors, even those leaders in the church who cannot forgive and even dare to dig the sin and the mistake of somebody, even though at present they have repented. And that is a very, very judgmental attitude that does not please God. I want to speak to all the leaders of the church, even pastors. Don't have this attitude of digging the sin and the weakness and the wrongdoing of people in the past. Look at him today. If he repented and changed, then you have no right. The only thing is you forgive forget and move on and accept him as he is today that is my admonition to every leaders I don't care whether you are an archbishop or bishop or leaders of the community but if you don't have this attitude of forgiving and covers love covers all then you are not yet complete to be a strong leader. Remain blessed in Jesus' name. Bishop Dr. Josiah de Petre of the World Bishop Council Federation in Asia and around the world. Bishop Joe Desir.